Hey everybody, Mr. Berg here, and we are talking about one point perspective. What's that? Well, it's basically the idea that as things get farther away from you, they get smaller and smaller. Think of a long road that is getting smaller and smaller and smaller, and as the car drives away from you, it's getting smaller and it gradually disappears into who knows where. Let's give it a shot. Now, first off, for this demo, I'm using a long ruler. I'm up on a wall here. Um, I'm going to try to draw in both pencil and marker. The pencil might be kind of hard for you to see, um, so I'm going to do my best. Now, this is one way to do one point perspective. There's, you know, a thousand ways to do things, but this is an example of how I would start. We're going to start with a room, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is go corner to corner with my straight edge. This is a big sheet of paper. Luckily, I have a uh, long ruler here. And I'm going to draw a line here. Now, the reason I'm using pencil here is so I can erase these lines when I need to. I think you can kind of see those, that. Yeah, big diagonal line here. I'll try to make this next one a little bit darker. Um, and I'm going corner to corner. Basically what I'm doing is finding the center of my paper. Now, once you get really comfortable using one point perspective, your one point does not have to be in the center of your paper, but for now it is. That's it right there, okay? And there's these really faint lines that you can see. See that X? Okay, so this is our one point in one point perspective. And basically what we have here is a floor, a ceiling, and two side walls. Now we're going to draw a back wall in here. I'm using my ruler for that also. And here's something about this back wall. We're drawing a room, okay? This back wall should be parallel to the edges of your paper, both top and bottom, left and right. Okay, so this line needs to be straight up and down. I'm using the end of my ruler kind of here. And it's probably pretty close. I know it's kind of hard for you to see on the screen. Um, I will try to adjust that and darken in these lines once I get going. Now this line, you want this to be horizontal and you want it to be parallel with this top edge of your paper. If it's like this, then your room's going to be kind of slanted. I got my top edge up here. So I'm using the end of my ruler on the end of my paper again, on the edge of my paper, I mean. And I'm going to go and connect right there. And I'm going to stop at this first diagonal line. Then I'm going to come down here, I'm trying to stay out of the way so you can see. Another vertical line. And then, if I did things decently, those two lines should be somewhat level with each other. It's not perfect, but it's that's not half bad. I'd say that's decent for drawing on a wall with a really big ruler. Okay, so basically, what I have now, now that I have those drawn in, I am going to darken them in a bit. So this is basically, I'm drawing on my pencil line here. Okay, over, that's the ceiling, here's the side wall, here's where the back wall meets the floor, this is where the back wall meets the left wall, and then here we're going to go, oh boy, that was horrible, yikes. Bam. Like that, and finally down here. And everything's going to be going towards that point. So basically what we've done is drawing a, uh, a floor, a ceiling, a left wall, a right wall, and a back wall of a room. Okay? Now, here's the goal. To make things look smaller as they go back in the room. Okay? Now, I'm going to start with like a rug on the floor. And um, it's the easiest place to start. And then we'll do like a TV, then we'll do a picture on the wall and a window on the other wall. And that's the, all we're going to do to start off for right now, okay? Uh, the first thing, this rug on the floor, well, the, we're going to start with the front edge of it. Now, the front edge of that rug should be level, or I'm sorry, parallel with the bottom edge of my paper. So I'm going to get down here and kind of look at that and kind of eyeball it. And I'm going to draw a rug over here. This is the front edge of my rug, Okay. Now what I'm going to do is go from this left point and the right point towards my vanishing point, my one point in one point perspective drawing. Now, 
These lines, you're going to want to make them go the same distance, and you don't want them to go up onto the back wall. So we're going to stop them before we hit the back wall. Let's go like there. It's a nice big rug. Now from here, it's going to be a much steeper angle towards that vanishing point, and I want to draw it about the same length as my first one. Okay, so I've got my marker here. I'm going towards the vanishing point with my ruler. Drawing, 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 and that looks pretty close. Came up a little short there. Right there, I've got my rug. Okay, if it's a striped rug, you can, you know, draw stripes in it, and all of those stripes should be directed towards that vanishing point. See that? Let's add one more, even though it's not evenly spaced. Okay, I don't know, colorful rug. All right. Now, um, let's do a window over here. I'm going to try to stay out of your way here. First off, the edge of your window should be vertical, straight up and down. Parallel with this edge, parallel with the edge of our paper. So it's going to be up here. That's a high window. It goes kind of up towards the ceiling. Now, same thing as the rug, where we went from the two edges towards the vanishing point. Now here, we're going to go from the top and bottom towards the vanishing point. I'm going to start with the top. Put my marker there and direct my ruler towards the vanishing point. It's going to be a nice window. Now I'm going to go from the bottom of that line towards the vanishing point, And I want to go to the same distance as this. This is going to be kind of tricky. Without looking on camera, I need to go a little further. Like that. Pretty close. Okay. And then we're going to connect those two together. And I'm going to use my my back wall here line up my ruler parallel to that i didn't go very far or far enough so it should be like that okay that could be like a window or picture or even a flat screen tv up on the wall cool okay now um yeah it could be whatever if you wanted to like make it look more like a window and add some detail stuff like that let's split it down the middle kind of that classic window detail so now there's like two windows there and I don't know. Do that so it looks like it's made of glass. Color it blue or something. Okay, over here, let's actually, instead of doing um, like another window or a picture or something like that, we're gonna draw a hallway that leaves this room. This is cool and it's not that difficult. Vertical line, now this is, a, this is the wall, the side wall of our room. We want to draw a hallway that leaves this room. So I'm going to draw a vertical line that goes all the way up to the ceiling. I suppose it doesn't have to go all the way up to the ceiling. Let's draw it all the way up to the ceiling. You got to make sound effects sometimes. Okay, this is where you're going to be able to walk in this room and you're going to turn and leave the, the room down the hallway. So that's the front edge of the hallway. This is going to be the back end, back edge of our hallway, I guess, back wall of our hallway between those two lines. Now watch this. It doesn't really look like much except a stripe on the wall. Watch this. This is super cool. From this point, I'm going to draw a horizontal line straight across until I hit this line. Same down here. From that point, horizontal line. And what that gives us is, I'm going to actually use my top of my wall there as a guide. That's now the ceiling in the hallway. We're going to do the same thing down here. Use my ruler as a guide here. Or I'm sorry, that back line as a guide. Like that. Look at that. I'm in this room. I want to leave the room. I'm going to walk here and go down the hallway and disappear around the side of this wall. Pretty cool. Pretty easy. All we have in this whole picture we have three types of lines. Vertical lines go straight up and down, and they're parallel to the edges of your paper. You have horizontal lines that go left to right or side to side, and those are parallel to the top and bottom of your paper. And then the third type of line we have are receding lines. Those are lines that are directed or angled towards this vanishing point. Okay? There's all sorts of things we could do. We should probably add one thing on the, t on the ceiling. Let's put a, um, I don't know, like a, oh, let's do kind of one of those rounded, 
like a light or something. Now this might take a little, yeah, let's do a kind of a big light. It's going to be kind of a weird light to have in a living room, but it's basically the same as a rug, right? You're going to go like this, horizontal line, left to right, and then you go from the sides of it directed towards the vanishing point. Here, directed towards the vanishing point. Sorry if I was just in your screen there. Sound effects again. And then we're going to connect those parallel to the top of the back wall like that. And that could be a light fixture or something like that. It could be, I don't know, you could draw like lights in there, I guess. I don't know. The back wall. Last thing I'm going to mention, this is getting long. The back wall, anything drawn in the back wall does not angle towards the vanishing point because the vanishing point kind of exists on that back wall. So like, let's say we want to draw a, uh, a door to leave this room, okay? I don't know why there'd be a door there, but there is. Most of the time, doors are like three quarters of the height of a wall. So there's a door there, a side of the door. Here's the other side of the door. And then we just connect those with a horizontal line. What side are handles on? Either side, I guess. Door handle, doggy door for your little puppy Fido to leave. And then you know what? Let's even add some little window details in there just to make it look a little bit more like a door or something like that, right? I don't know. So floor, ceiling, left wall, right wall, back wall. A very quick, yikes, sorry about that. Very quick uh, view at one point perspective. We'll be back for more later. See ya.